Good morning everyone, my name is Alex, and welcome back to the channel in our survival series. Uh, this is going to be the second video that we'll post while I'm gone. So, again, every other day for a couple weeks. If I'm gone longer, there's not really much that I can do about that. Uh, if you're new here, please give the video a like, and uh, subscribe if you're not already, because we have got all kinds of things going on, like sorghum. Uh, this is going to be the crop for the pigs, uh, so they'll be just good and, and fed. I did end up getting 10 pigs, so our money is about 6 grand lower than what it was before. We got those guys. We got F Triangle Field has wheat in it. Um, field above does not have anything. We're going to work on that today with that. But first, uh, it is June and we need to sell some things uh, mainly the corn corn is ready to go it's at its peak so we've got what 40,000 liters something like that so a few trips in this guy and you'll see that I have 3,000 liters of sunflower seeds as well uh, that okay we got 40,000 liters I thought we had 50 um, the sunflower seeds is going up to our little uh, mill thing uh, oil, oiler? Maybe? I don't know what you call a thing. The thing with the oil. Um, we're going to drop that off on our way and hopefully pick up two pallet of different products. So I have canola oil and sunflower oil. And we're going to take all the uh, sunflower seeds from our uh, greenhouse and, and bring them up here. Uh, the ratio is 2 to 1. So I think that that's a little bit better than just always having... Uh, sunflower seeds for free that we sell so we have to pay a little bit we get a more valuable product but uh, yeah that is the current plan I need to remember to go this way uh, we need to unhook here and I need to put in a little like a dock road or something because the unload area for this is actually right here so I need to make a little like a, a bypass for our nice little hut here that we've got going on. But yes, it does look like we have two, um, two things here. So this is sunflower oil and oil oil. So we have a thousand liters there. There's uh, another 500 in there, but uh, I, I might feed this thing some more canola today. I don't know, but my... My big thing is, whenever the bed gets back down, we want to unload this. Oh no, canola is not accepted here. Oh no, things are not accepted here. <laughs> Those just need to, to hang out for a minute. So the corn is going directly into the co-op, and these are going to the building right beside of them, if I can get hooked back up here. The cornfield is ready to get limed. The sunflower field is limed, so we need to... I want to do some planting today, but I want to spread out the planting. Please don't flip me. Jesus. Um, I don't want to be stacked up again to where we have to spend two episodes doing harvest. So we're going to just stagger everything out a little bit. I don't want to plant more than two fields a day. Um, that's going to be a big help. So Now, don't think that it'll happen. We're probably going to end up at like 86k, 89k off of the load of corn that we have. I want to get over 100 uh, today. That's what uh, that's what the plan is. I want to be over 100,000 today. And we haven't checked and seen what's on sale, which we can do while that's unloading. Uh, big Massey. Ooh. Easy money. So we can take Wow, that was a pallet of four of them. We're going to make good money off of that. Ooh. Okay, now we don't need that just yet. Looks like a bunch of good items today. So this is the last that I know of. Now we have been having problems out of our harvester. So that's an interesting one. Might uh, might keep that in mind. Thirty-five grand. That's not too bad with that. 
there's a truck. Uh, it's got a Detroit on it and pink wheels. Eh, eh, I think I'll pass for right now. Different kind of truck. I don't think that's going to fit us too good. Titan floater. And a flander we've already got. So the only things I see that I really, really want are... Where did it go? I mean, this is this is interesting. I mean, that could be that could be handy here in a little bit. Um, I don't know if it's a good idea to pre-buy. That's the that's the big question. I don't think that I do right yet. Let's uh let's see where we end up. So we end up at 81. I was a little bit off there, but hopefully these little oil products make up the rest. We got five grand off of that for uh, that was basically eh, we got about a thousand dollars per thousand uh, on the liters there. Now this this is what's gonna sell. Uh, like I don't know why it was four of them for eighty eight percent off, but hey, beggars ain't gonna be choosers. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow. We paid not very much for that. I will do that any day of the week. I'll drive a forklift across a parking lot. We're going to be really close to buying our uh, our piece of land here. Not, not this episode. That's not going to happen. You know, I say it's not going to happen, but grass bales right now are worth 95 per thousand liters. Hmm. No, no, I don't need to think about that right now. We need to, we need to sell the rest of our corn. I need to put up fences so I stop going all the other ways to get back to the farm and actually drive on roads because you know we spent all this time making roads. <laughs> okay, and here is the last of the corn. Okay, almost another twenty thousand dollars. It doesn't look like we're getting our our environmental bonus uh, anymore, which kind of sucks. But it be what it be. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fill up this trailer with half of our canola. And we're going to... We're going to go ahead and put that into the little factory thing. So we have 50,000 liters. I can put one full trailer in there. And we're going to get 10,000 liters of canola oil out of it. Which I'm okay with. Um, losing that little bit of money is going to be A-OK -okay with me. And we're going to hold that canola oil until, I want to say it's December. Yeah, December is going to be worth 37, uh, 3700 bucks per 1000 So we'll make $37,000 instead of... And let me stop and get it figured out. <laughs> uh, canola, we would have made... Um, off of 20,000 liters, we made 20, 28,000. So yeah, we're going to make basically another 10 grand, uh, for like waiting an extra day. Uh, I mean, we're not going to sell this canola until November anyway. So if we wait until December, then whoop-de-doo, <laughs> it'll be fine. Yeah, I'm going to have to build out this little road thing if we're going to continue to do this. No, oh, not my trash can. that empty and I'm gonna pick up after myself here. There's no way that that is too heavy for me to pick up. There we go. Little, little trash can there beside the bench. I'm glad that you're floating towards me. That's awesome. That looks terrifying. Please stop. Don't hit my trash can. Don't do it. Just don't. Don't, don't, no, it, it's already been through enough. Stop it. Stop it. See? Okay, so if we look at our production here, um, we've got the cycles is 2400 It's going to cost us $12 a month. whoop de doo um, And then that's going to make us a lot. 
That's going to make us a lot of money, I think. Okay, I'm going to be 110% truthful with you all. I don't know if this will plant right now. I don't... Well, maybe it will. Is this actually doing something? So, nothing here. And crop type oak. Okay, no, that's just putting fertilizer down. So we need to do seed bed prep for all of our fields. I was hoping that this would go. That way we could go ahead and start uh, start planting that out. So I need something to prep seed beds with. I didn't want to spend money today. I really didn't. Okay, well I have a think on that. Like I don't. I really don't want to spend too much money today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get started in this field with this tractor. Um, I think... Don't barley here. We just had a cereal. I mean, uh, well, canola's an oil. Uh, what do I want to put here? We've run through all the crops so many times. <laughs> I uh, don't want to put beans back or sorghum. No OSR. That was a mistake. Let's let's do barley. Let's just do some barley. I think that that might be fun. So let's get a worker set up on this, so they can have some fun. Um, how do I do this? Would probably be a good idea to go ahead and refill on all of our stuff too. Seeing how it's right here on our lovely trailer. Well, the support trailer's empty now. Well, that's a thing, isn't it? So, we've got them going. This field should be 110% ready to go. It is. Good. We need to be in the Duthfar with the Weeder to do the other field. I, I know I'm, I'm like, really trying not to... Uh... What's a good way to say this uh, without being totally offensive? I'm really trying not to blow my load here in the first couple of episodes. So, uh, I want to do things more methodically <laughs> while I'm gone. <laughs> because I won't be able to respond uh, probably to a lot of uh, messages and stuff, too. So I don't want there to be like this, Oh, you should have done it this way! I can't, I can't fix it in the next episode. I'm having to plan out more episodes ahead than I'm really, really used to doing. And these are probably going to be shorter episodes as well. So it's kind of a, a weird spot to be in. I know I need to do shallow cultivation, but I don't want to break the bank because we're close to getting another field. So kind of, uh, I mean, we've got the other cultivator, but at the same time, it's like, well, I can, I've used it a million times. Um, so it's, it is what it is. But uh, let's just very quickly please take all these please tell me you're doing a good job I like it when you do a good job I'm on the wrong map yes you're doing a good job so yeah let's let's quickly knock uh, knock this field out and then I'm gonna try to figure out how I want to finish out the day uh, I think I think I might just go ahead and put the field... I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. Where's the field? Okay, this is going to be loud. Okay, I've got them going. I need to keep an eye on them. If they come over in this field, in my wheat, I'm going to be just the most upset boy you've ever seen. Because the I need to expand the boundary line between these two fields. And it needs to happen... Probably before I plant, <laughs> because that's getting a little out of hand. Uh, what what has happened? So I know a lot of you haven't used course play, but what happens is course play will automatically see you know fields, right? So we we've seen that it picks up uh, my fields, and why am I going 19 miles away? Um. And that's all well and good. You know, it, it sees it sees that, you know, we, we've got these field actions going on. 
but when they're as close together as a tractor width, it bleeds over from one field into the next. And that's causing some issues with the workers. I figured that out um, whenever we accidentally doubled up on the oats. Which was a happy accident because we ended up making some pretty good money off the oats. But it should not have happened. So I need to be more aware uh, whenever I put down these field boundaries, you know, because... You know, we like doing them a certain way. I, you know, I like my having my fields not be gigantic blocks. But whenever they are not set up correctly to work with course play, then we're going to have issues. And you know, when we started the fi when we started the series, I had no workers, so you know, it wasn't like a worry. I knew I knew where my field ended, um, but the workers don't. So I need to go through and expand all of that, which could be interesting. So, uh, let's go ahead and get this knocked out. That did not take too awful long. I, I do like this. Like, and look, it, it looks so good. It's it's flowing in the wind. Everything looks amazing. We're just doing a bang up job. I went through the wrong gate because I'm an idiot. Uh, I need the Fiat. Okay, you're doing good. I'm actually really surprised that you're not out of seeds yet. You're gonna be out of seeds though. You're not gonna be able to finish. You're stuck, because of course you are. So basically what needs to happen here is whenever this guy turns around, he needs to not cut through that field. And I think it's smart enough not to do it, but I really don't know if I trust it or not. Okay, I think I finally have them going. Yes, we're, we're growing... We're, we're growing soybeans, so we, we're good. Everything's good. Everything's fine. Alright, because grass is so valuable right now, we're going to do our normal thing of me running up and down the roads and the rest of our grass making areas and basically making a mess out of everything and making a bunch of bales that we can sell uh, well immediately so yeah, I don't normally do this but it's like $115 per thousand liters right now so yeah that's uh, that's a fairly good price <laughs> for something that does not uh, that does not take us very, very long to do. So, I should be able to do these with the big one? I think... Yeah, I think I can make... Yeah, I'll just make the massive ones and then they won't wrap. There we go. See, there's thinking with Monogan. I think we did this the last time we tried to make a, a ton of money. Uh, was run around and cut everything. Now, we did make... 
you know, we, we rush for the money for the uh, versatile, but yeah, the last time we really cut any of this in any kind of like quick succession, it's been, I want to say the last piece of land that we bought, we did this, so that'll be a nice little, nice little change of pace, and uh, you know, it's good to cut down the grass, it's, there's nothing wrong with barely, definitely not fitting through there. Ah, it's like I've tried to stop myself from being a mook. Now, the only reason I do this in this series is we're trying to get everything out of every piece of land that we can. We don't own a lot. Um, normally, I'd be like, ah, meadow grass, we're not going to fiddle with it. But, where we don't own very much, this is such a... Like, the acreage in unused land that we have is worth doing this is basically what it comes down to like anytime you're running a micro farm basically of what we're running you would not pass up any chance to make as much money off of said land as you could now you know you guys know that I don't like to to break the game or or do anything weird so I only do this every once in a Every once in a bit. So, you know, we're really trying to push for that field. I th think that we can do it next episode. I think. I mean, we're going to go as far as we can go, but... Yeah, I think uh, I think next episode is a pretty good... Pretty good bet. Because we have this field to mow, and we have the other... Uh, the other grass like, field to, to mow. So we, this is basically ditch grass right now. is is all that we're is all that we're after. Plus this will let me clean up the mess that I left last time whenever we were doing micro bells. So that is all I wanted to cut. Was basically just just down the road. That was all. Let's get in the New Holland. New Holland, the versatile, whatever this thing is. We're going to get hooked up to the baler and knock this out really quick and get these things sold. I'm going to guess we probably get 10 bales. Because where we have cut it before, it cuts down on the weeds. So, um, you know, we're getting more, which is nice. Believe it or not, I did remember to reset the bell counter this time. So we're, we're on zero. And everything's on, like, automatic pickup and, and all that fun stuff. And I need to slow this down. Ooh, maybe we won't get 10. We're not even, not even through the first one yet. Yeah, this area didn't yield too much. But again, ditch A, you know, gotta be, gotta be okay with that. But still, I mean, it's money. Money that we didn't have before, and we really didn't have to put any effort or fuel into, so I won't complain. Alright, we ended up with six. That's not terrible. So that's six times 75. Eh, I bet we'll make like six grand. That should pay for the fuel and the net wrap and uh, seeds and fertilizer for the day. So I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. If we can get above 40 off of that, like 140,000, then that would be great. Because that'll put us even closer to where we need to be uh, for the next episode. Now, I do believe uh, the money that we get from the next field. Uh, so I'm... I'm going to do 14. We're going to do 14. And we're going to take the money that we get from there to go into field 2 and sheep. Uh, probably along with some, some bigger equipment and everything. And what I'm going to have to understand about doing field 14 is there's no natural boundary besides the road. So we need to make sure we don't just make big square fields everywhere. I mean, even square field is not, you know, square. So... You know, I don't want to get into that uh, into that rhythm where we just buy a piece of land and we turn it into a big square. 
I know that that is the most efficient way to to go about all of that, but that's not what we're you know we're not in here for peak efficiency. If we were, I would be you know buying everything huge and everything else. Um, so we're going to do our field road that I talked about out of our farm, uh, and we're going to connect that up to. Uh, to that road over there as well so we can have a nice little area and we're going to squiggle it uh, mainly because I like squiggles then the next time that I do this field I need to do at least three headlands because they're idiots with that fence and I don't know why they can't see the fence in the first place but it's always immediately blocked by object come on give me three grand that's all I want yay See, we got an environmental score there. I don't know why we're not getting it on the crops that we sell. That's really weird. Um, actually, that is something we need to check. Is this going up? I don't care. No, okay, so my environmental score is 58 now. What am I doing wrong? I don't know what each of these is. Nitrogen is terrible. Why does it... Why is my nitrogen so bad? But my nitrogen is good. Yeah? Oh, it's because I'm planting soybeans. Okay. Well, that's interesting. I wonder what happens... Let's go waste some money. So our score right now is 58. What happens if I start spraying... This field and grass field. Grass field is outdated data now. Oh. I've never had that. Like, I've never played a game of Farm Sim long enough to have that. Okay, this is going to be experimenting time. So, this is not risen. And I think it really is down to that. So, that's something we're going to have to figure out in the next one. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we want that to be as high as it can. I've never had one go, um, I've never had one go black. And I don't know why this one is so dark as well. Like, we're starting to see some oddities here. So what happens if I drive out here? Does this need anything? No, okay. So, in the next episode, we're going to have to do some new soil samples, uh, on the grass field and this field because it still thinks that the land where we put the building is farmland so that's interesting but that is where we have run out of time for the day so everybody thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed today's video i know that these are going to be shorter and probably more sporadic but uh it'll only be a couple weeks i promise and then we'll be back to normal so thank you everyone bye for now <laughs>